Welcome to Chopstick Travel, I'm Luke Martin and today I'm in Japan. This morning I've come bright and early to Shiogama, an important port here in Japan that is famous for Japan's most beloved fish, the tuna. So massive amounts of tuna are coming through the Shiogama port and then being shipped all across Japan and the world. So it is also host to a morning tuna auction which we're going to check out and then afterwards we're going to the Shiogama Wholesale Fisheries Market to taste some fresh tuna for ourselves. It's gonna be a great episode, so make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go eat some tuna. So we're standing on the second floor of the fish market where the auction is going to take place. We're able to watch uh, through the glass here as they inspect the tunas. They're gonna start with the smaller tunas. Uh, there's two different types. They've got bluefin tunas here and then big eye. But they're gonna start with the smaller fish first for the first auction and then move on to the bigger, more expensive ones. And these guys seriously know what they're doing. They're just jotting everything down, checking everything for fat content, quality, looking it up and down. I'm not exactly sure what all the criteria are, but apparently it's quite strict, as you can imagine here in Japan, to get the best quality tuna. And I think these things go for a lot of money. So there's really three main things that they're inspecting before the auction. That is the tail. So they're looking at the tail for the color of the fish using a flashlight. They're also looking at the belly to see the fat content. And then they're also looking at the eye to make sure it's clear and not murky to make sure the quality of the fish is good. All of the tuna here is fresh. So some other markets actually sell uh, frozen tuna. And this is for most of the tuna here in Japan. It's coming through this market. It's going to other auctions. So the famous Tsukiji or now Toyosu market in Tokyo, they are bringing those tuna from this auction to that auction and then being re-auctioned. And the price can vary depending on the season, depending on the quality of course. It can go anywhere from about 5,000 yen per kg to up to 20,000 or more per kg. And these fish can go to 100 plus kg. So there's a lot of money here. We just watched the tuna auction, absolute madness. It happens really fast. I think that only lasted maybe 15 minutes and all of the fish were sold. There's a lot of back and forth between the auctioneer and the people buying the fish. Everybody's writing things down. He's screaming at numbers. And then before you know it, they're taking the fish away, dragging the fish away. And then the whole floor has been cleared of fish. So really exciting to watch. I love the culture. It's so cool to see uh, such an interesting culture all around food, all around basically tuna sashimi, which we're gonna go try now. We are at the Shiogama Wholesale Fisheries Market now and we spotted a man who is breaking down the tuna into the different cuts. There's three main cuts. There's the akami, which is the lean, the dark red meat. There's chutoro, medium fatty, and then otoro, which is the fattiest. There's other cuts of the meat, of course, and they've just actually offered us a sample. So finally, time to try some of the famous uh, Shiogama bluefin tuna. So let's try. So you can see this is the akami here, the, the lean meat, and that's the chutoro. Let's try the the lean akami first. Even though that's the non-fatty cut, it's still just melts in your mouth. 
So a little bit of soy sauce on there. Oh man. These are just like the scraps that are left over after he finished cutting it up to pieces. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yeah. That is so good. Chiyogama is the largest uh, producer of amount of tuna here in Japan. So extremely high quality, all fresh, never frozen. Oh man. That is awesome. Oishi. So that was just a little sample, but one thing that's really cool that you can do here at the Shiogama Fisheries Wholesale Market is you can actually walk around and buy small portion sizes. And then at the very end, you can get a bowl of rice and make your own kaisendon, which is like a seafood bowl. So we bought some tuna sliced sashimi from that stall, and I'm gonna look around for some other stuff. There's all kinds of fresh seafoods here. I see abalone right here. There's all kinds of shellfish. We had a lot of oysters in the last episode, so I think no oysters today, but we're gonna be looking around and uh, picking out some different stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Flounder. Just picked up my second ingredient, ikura, which is uh, salmon roe. roll. I think that'll go good with the kaisen don. Gonna get a couple more things. Okay, let's get one. Thank you. It's really cool. The market's set up for you to do this, to buy all the little pieces. So they've got them packaged into small containers and you can get uh, a couple of pieces of sashimi for like 300 or he just sold us uh, two different packages. One is flounder and one is salmon for 500. So it's also really affordable. Sitting down with all of the seafood that I just sourced from the market, they gave you just a bowl of rice plain because you're supposed to get all the seafood. So I've got my fresh shrimps here, and this is the flounder, beautiful white fish. This is the fatty belly of salmon, and then a couple different cuts of the tuna here. Akami, this is negi, so minced uh, tuna. It looks like this is a fattier cut. And then also the ikura, the salmon roe. So now the fun begins. You get to decorate your bowl and then dig in. All right, in goes the salmon. I'm definitely not an uh, expert at plating, but let me try to make this look as beautiful as I can. I don't know if I should put it all in. Maybe I start with just three pieces first. Eh, let's just go put it all. Oh, look, I'm already messing it up. All right, let's go for flounder next. These are just really thin cuts of flounder. Super thin tuna. Definitely gonna go generous with all of this. This is really why you have to come to Shiogama and then I'll put this right in the middle like that and a little bit more. Oh, this is gonna be a huge kaisen don. And the shrimp, how should I put those? Maybe I put them like that. All right, that's looking pretty good. And let's finally add some color with the ikura, the salmon roe. This is a serious kaisen don. Holy smokes, this thing is huge. All right, that looks pretty good. What do you guys think of my masterpiece here? I think I did a pretty good job. I'm gonna try this stuff one by one. I'm gonna try a piece of flounder. Got a little bit of soy sauce over here. Mm. Mm. Very, very juicy. The flounder kind of burst. Yum. That was really fresh. Flounder. Let's try some of this fatty tuna. If I can get some rice there too. Or sorry, fatty salmon. Mm. No soy sauce needed. Mm. Just melts in your mouth. A little bit of wasabi, yum. Just grab some of everything here. Some of this negi toro with the ikura.
everything is ridiculously fresh with just a warm bed of rice. It's so comforting in a cold day like today. It's perfect. Out of everything in here, of course, though, the tuna, it just reigns supreme. Shiogama is so good for its tuna. If you're a tuna lover like me, you've gotta come here because this is some of the best, freshest tuna I've ever had. These shrimp, quite huge. Take the head off. Raw shrimp, not always my favorite, but if they're fresh, they are really, really good. And this definitely should go for a dip in the soy sauce. Mm. Mm. The shrimp flavor is a natural sweetness. It's just the texture that kind of gets me. It's got a weird kind of gummy, a little bit slimy almost texture. This is such a cool experience. It's really fun. I think it's kind of off the beaten track, but it's also set up pretty well for foreign tourists to come here. You can just point, pick your different cuts of the fish, come get your bowl of rice and sit down and enjoy a Kaisen Don. And if you come early enough, you can also check out the awesome tuna auction that we watched this morning. That was so cool to see. Mm. If you love fresh fish, Shiogama. Mm. So how did I do? How's my Kaisen Don look and taste? It tastes good. But it looks like, it looks easy when you do it, but I don't think it's easy. No. Tell them what you really said. I said you were Kaisen I look like an elementary art school. <laughs> like an elementary school project? Mm. Ouch. <laughs> what a cool experience and such fresh seafood. So finished off here in Shiogama. It's just about 30 minutes train ride from Sendai, which is a big city here in Japan, Tohoku region. So we're gonna head back to Sendai and we've got Another special food that we want to show you, the most famous food in Sendai, it's called Gyutan. So let's go back to Sendai, take the train there, and I'll show you that. Made it to Sendai and I've come straight to have the gyutan. So gyutan, as I said, it's the quintessential Sendai dish. Gyutan literally translates to cow tongue. So we're gonna have some cow tongue. This is such a famous dish here. So this is the restaurant behind me. Let's go try it out. So here it is, a massive beef tongue. I'm at this little restaurant called Jugoya. 
and they specialize in Sendai Gyutan. This is actually U.S. beef, so a lot of the Gyutan here in Sendai is actually U.S. beef. And just look at the size of that. So a couple steaks out of this for sure, and he's grilled them up on charcoal, and we're gonna try it out. I'm super excited. Just can't get over how big that is, wow. So they grilled us up four of the Gyutan steaks, I guess you can call them. They're about the size of a steak. And look at that beautiful, beautiful grilled meat. It looks like they cook it a little thoroughly, but then over here there's some pieces that are a little bit more rare. And then serve with just a simple uh, pickled cabbage, and this I believe is some sake lease uh, vegetables that have been covered with sake lease. Uh, let me try this out. Oh man, it just smells so, so good. Wow. Whoa. I was expecting the texture to be like a firm, well done steak because I didn't see any fat in those cuts. But it turns out that this is super, super soft and smooth. The texture is unique. It's almost like a texture of liver, but with the taste of like a beautiful sirloin steak or something and just naturally oily. There's nothing added. He didn't put any salt on it, nothing, but it tastes amazing just as is. I can't believe there's nothing added to that. It's beautiful flavor as is. Mm, and the texture. Oh, it's so bouncy. Mm. Okay, let's try one of these pieces that's a little bit more rare and it's just dripping with oil. I've also got some Japanese uh, seven spice blend chili pepper with a little bit of that, not too much. Wow. It's a lot oilier than I was expecting, but in the best way possible. And I love restaurants like this that take an ingredient that maybe otherwise might be just kind of disregarded as a lesser delicious cut of meat and then they just perfect it. That's the Japanese way, just to perfect something that otherwise people would overlook and just turn it into an absolute delicious, delicious dish. Just look at that beauty. We have a ton of gyutan. I love the texture, the oiliness. Oh, it's smoky. That's perfect. I would eat this equally with a steak. Like this is as good as having any uh, Wagyu steak, any premium cut of meat. Just a little bit of that five or seven spice. Yum. Ah, so good. So I was wrong. This is actually miso paste with uh, chili peppers. And the owner here told me it's really good to have with the tongue. Oh. Strong miso flavor. Whoa. Mmm. It's a little bit spicy. Oh, that goes so good together. Mm. Just look at the amount of natural oil that's come off of that tongue. And even though it's not fatty, it's still full of juicy, oily goodness, just the way you want it. Perfect with some rice. Light work for Mink and I. That was a ton of gyutan. I don't know how many grams that was, but we finished that off, no problem. And perfect day of surf and turf. So this morning, ton of seafood and now a ton of beef. Now I will say, beef tongue can be a premium cut of meat if you know how to cook it, or if even better, you just come to Sendai, Japan, then you can have this awesome gyutan. Check out the description down below for this restaurant's information, and then you can come and check it out yourself. Highly recommend it. The food here in Japan never ceases to amaze me. Another incredible day of eating here. And a huge thank you to buyfood.com. They offer unique experiences, food tours, and restaurant reservations. And for every booking made, they donate meals to children in need through their program, Food for for happiness. So huge thank you to buyfood.com. Check them out for your next trip to Japan. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the 
like icon, hit the bell icon, hit all the icons, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Chopstick Travel. Bye.